Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. It has been quite some time since I was able to film for you guys, so this video is going to be an update for those of you who have been curious but don't follow me on social media. A lot has happened within the last couple of weeks and I wanted to fill you in on those. So if you're curious to know where I've been for the last couple of weeks, then go ahead and keep watching. First of all, I want to address the elephant in the room. I did color my hair and I went in not expecting to do anything different and came out with this. Um, I normally have a middle part but I have not been able to style my hair so ignore that I just went over I just went ahead and made it um, be a side swept bang for this video because I tried styling it and I could not so um, yeah I did color my hair I'm in the process of trying to grow it out and it's getting there but seems like it's taking forever in a day so, um the biggest thing I'm sure that you guys are curious about is the surgery that I had if you guys follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, then you are already aware of this. But I wanted to go into a little more, a little bit more detail about the story of what happened exactly because I don't know if I don't remember if I shared it or not. Um, basically, what happened was for about I'm gonna say about a month, I was in a lot of pain. At first, I thought it was really bad uh, period cramps because that's what it felt like, um, and then I went on a medicine to help stop my period. And I was still getting the pain, so I thought maybe it was a bladder infection because bladder infections are very common with my injury. So I got medicine for that to treat that, and I was still having the pain. So I was convinced that I had an ulcer because um, I was having a lot of heartburn. The pain that I was feeling was in my stomach. And um, I went to go see my doctor on a Monday morning to go in for testing about the ulcer. I told her that I thought I had an ulcer, so she had set up some testing for me. When I went into the office that day, my blood pressure was insane high which isn't uncommon for me I've had blood pressure issues since I got injured and they kind of chilled out for a little bit and apparently it came back so that kind of worried me as soon as I left her office I went and got lunch and then I went to my summer class while I was in my summer class I got hit with another um, round of unbearable stomach pains it felt like I needed to go to the bathroom really bad but when I tried nothing was coming out it felt like I needed to push something out of my body really bad um, so I ended up leaving class without saying anything because the pain was so bad that it was making me sweat and almost made me throw up so I left I came home I laid in my bed in the fetal position with a heating pad on my stomach hoping that it would ease whatever it was the pain lasted for about three and a half hours and I decided to finally call my doctor because it was so severe um, I have a pretty high pain tolerance and it was starting to make me like feel really nauseous and feel really sick so I knew something wasn't right I had I was kind of concerned at this point that I may be trying to pass a kidney stone and I do self cath so no matter the size of the kidney stone I more than likely wouldn't be able to pass it so I called my doctor after hours and she said if I was in that much pain that it was probably smart for me to go to the emergency room because that's how I was going to get the fastest answers instead of waiting until the following day to get in with her and testing and results and stuff. I went ahead and drove myself to the emergency room when I got into my car the pain had stopped it was about a seven or eight and when I got in the car it went down to about a two or a three which I can handle so the whole ride to the hospital I I was arguing with myself because I didn't want to get there and then tell me something embarrassing like you just need to go to the bathroom really bad or it's nothing or whatever so I went I checked myself in for abdominal pain and I was in the emergency room for a couple of hours if you've ever been in the emergency room you know it takes them a long time to get around to the testing and stuff unless it's an actually like life or death emergency so they drew some blood and they came back and they asked me to do a CAT scan the CAT scan uh, showed that I had appendicitis that my appendix was insanely inflamed and the doctor came in and he was pressing on my belly and um, he was pressing like where the pain was at and he was asking does this hurt and I was like yes please stop and when he got to the right side he pressed and let go and said do you feel a bounce back pain and I didn't all I felt was like relief from him um, letting go and so he did it a couple of times and I felt I didn't feel the bounce back pain sorry my cat interrupted me but um, I didn't feel the bounce back pain any time and he he said it in a joking manner. He was like, well, you should because you have appendicitis. And then he laughed. So I laughed because right before this, my boyfriend Jacob had texted me and said, I really hope that it's not your appendix because that can be a pretty, it's, it's a pretty serious thing. And um, so he was like, I'm not joking. Like you really have appendicitis and I'm going to contact the surgeon. And I was like, why are you contacting the surgeon? And he's like, you have to have this removed 
or else it could lead to a lot of problems. If you don't know, if you don't take care of that, your appendix can rupture and your appendix basically holds like a, a lot of bacteria and like not good things. So if that were to be released into your system, it's just not a pretty sight. So I ended up staying in the hospital that night and the next morning they came to do surgery and I stayed for another day at the hospital. So I spent about two and a half days at the hospital and recovery for this was absolutely horrendous. Because I'm in a wheelchair, I use my stomach and back muscles to do pretty much everything so transferring I couldn't do for probably two weeks so I wasn't able to transfer myself for about two weeks um, the first night I came home my mom was here but my mom can't lift me so I had to call the EMTs to help me get into pain into bed um, sleeping was a whole nother issue because I would get a lot of pain and um, it just it took a lot out of me and unfortunately I was I was out with restrictions for about three weeks and I've been cleared from the doctor now. Finally most of my pain is gone so I'm able to go back to living a normal life which means filming for you guys because I finally have the energy to do so. Um, I don't know if I don't remember if I went into full detail on my Instagram or my Twitter or whatever. I know that I did share that I had appendicitis and that I was having surgery but it was it was rough guys it was rough I don't know if any of you have ever had your appendix taken out or if you've experienced that but it was it was way harder than I expected it to be I was out for about two and a half weeks and even then I had to really like go slow and push myself to do certain simple tasks because I was in pain so there's the explanation of why I had to have the emergency surgery and then I also wanted to tell you an exciting update that happened within the last couple weeks is that I became a Scentsy consultant I have loved and used Scentsy products for years now I use them to melt in my house that is a Scentsy warmer right there and I have one in my dining room and one in my bedroom I absolutely love Scentsy products and so I was spending so much per month that the person I was ordering from was like, why don't you sell this? And I didn't want to become like a salesperson. So I debated it for a really long time and I finally decided to sign up at the beginning of this month. So now you guys can shop my Scentsy link. I will leave it down below if you guys want to order anything. And I do plan on doing some videos of like my favorite scents or something. Sorry about my cat. So if you guys are curious about any of the products, let me know in the comments below so that I can share um, some information with you guys about Scentsy products. If you guys don't care, I totally understand. I don't want to make this channel be a complete Scentsy uh, channel, but I will be talking about it because it is part of my life. So that's what all that's been happening to me for the last couple weeks. I've lived a pretty boring life. Um, because I was sick and I had surgery, I pretty much did nothing for about three weeks um, besides go to work and finish up my summer class. And that took about all the energy that I had so then I tried sleeping. Um, I'm doing a lot better now And I wanted to give you guys an update and let you know why I had been absent I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you do give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe below if you haven't already And I'm gonna film some more videos for you guys now, so I will see you in the next one. Bye